Well, good morning guys and ladies. It is uh, January the 12th and I am back out here on Lake Talquin today for the first time in several weeks now since the holidays and uh, I have no idea where these fish are going to be. We've had cold fronts come through. We've had chilly weather. We've had warm days. We got lots of rain. We got piles of dirty water just flowing down the creeks and rivers like crazy coming in the lake. So I don't know, we're gonna get out here on the lake and just see if we can track them down today. But before we get started on that, I got a couple things, guys. It's after Christmas and I got new toys and some new goals for the year. And I wanna start off with one thing, guys. I started doing this, making these videos. Sorry, checking on the boat here. And uh, I hope everybody's enjoying them. I hope you guys like watching my videos. My goal was to see if I could hit a thousand subscribers by my first year. And guys, we're coming up on a year. I can't believe it's been that long but I believe I started these videos in February of last year so you guys do me a favor if you haven't subscribed to my channel uh, please do so I think I'm about 15 14 subscribers away from hitting that thousand subscriber mark and uh, um, you know I appreciate all the help you guys can get you know share my videos around ask people to to subscribe to them let's see if we can get that count up and get it to where it's worth for me uh, continuing to do this for you. You know, I, I enjoy it and like to keep doing it. Um, obviously, I don't make a dime doing this. I'm not sponsored by anybody. This is just my time, my money, and my effort to do it. And, you know, hopefully we'll get that subscriber count up and, uh, you know, make it where at least I can get a couple bucks maybe in the future to help out with gas and that kind of thing. But having said that, Christmas time came by guys and we got some new goals for this year so the first thing is is that I have been using spider wire translucent 10 pound test braid I bought a whole bunch of this stuff when I first started crappie fishing with these uh, spinning reels and stuff last year that I came across on sale they were, they were having a sell out on them and they were cheap I mean I got them cheap so I bought like eight or ten packs of this stuff and this is what I, I i have been using but guys let me tell you don't buy this it does not cast worth a flip uh, you know i don't like to give people bad reviews on a product but for whatever reason this stuff sticks to itself really bad it you can't even just open the bell and let it just fall off the reel to get down to a fish you have to actually pull line to get it to go it'll it'll stick it just has not worked very well for me at all i mean it, it gets the job done uh, don't get me wrong and it's tough as nails it's got some some advantages but it doesn't cast worth a flip now this year we are going to try to find a braid now i have been going through the different rods different lures you know trying to hone in on on what I want to use, what I use from day to day, what's really going to work well for me that I can just always count on and catch fish on and not have issues with. So I bought some Berkley X9 10 pound test braid in a white color. I got some J braid 10 pound in a white color. This is eight strand. This is nine strand. I bought some suffix 832 in, in a white. And I've got some K9 braid ordered that hasn't got here yet. So we're going to spool up my pitching rods with different braids. And I'm going to be fishing with those here over the next few weeks to months. And guys, we're going to find out which braid I really like. Now, I started out mostly with name brand braids. Um, but I am willing to try, you know, pretty much any braids to see... Uh, if I can find one I really like or multiple ones that work really well that I really like. So guys, hold on a minute. I'm going to re-spool my rods. I think I'm going to start out with this X9 and this J braid in this gray color. So guys, hang on for just a minute. All right, guys, just like that. So I have spooled up one of my nine foot Wally Marshall Classic Signature Series pitching rods with the J braid and in, in the gray and 10 pound feels really good it feels like silk I mean it's really smooth so we'll see how that works we'll be using that over a little while and I got my other nine foot Wally Marshall spooled up with that Berkeley X9 so we'll see how that does 
It's a good looking braid. It does look like maybe I just had a little bad spot, but it does almost look like I got a couple little burrs, maybe a couple little nicks already in that line. So I may have to cut a little bit of that off, but it's really smooth too. Feels like it should do the job well. So we'll find out guys. We're gonna put it to the test and see how it does. Now the other thing that I bought myself for Christmas is I ordered me a 12 foot Wally Marshall Classic Signature Series jigging pole. Now it's got a foam handle. I was hoping they would, I was hoping they would make these with a cork handle, but I called them. They said that they were not going to have this with a cork candle, which is a shame. Um, but we're going to try it with this foam handle. It's a, it's a pretty lightweight rod. It seems to be a moderate action. Um, I kind of like to see them make one with a with a fast tip and a little more little more backbone than this but hey i haven't tried it yet but we're going to be trying out this 12 foot wally marshall jigging rod i wanted one rod that i could reach out there a little bit farther with and uh, uh, drop that bait on fish when i'm when they seem to want more of a vertical presentation so uh, we're going to be using that some this year we're going to see how that works and we're we'll going to see how we like it now the one thing i didn't show you is i also bought one of the Wally Marshall's Classic Signature Series six foot rods to try for dock shooting. I haven't rigged that up yet, but I'm gonna get that rigged up and see how I like it. I really wanted a six foot six inch, but they didn't have any in stock. So we'll see if they get one of those in stock. I'll get one of those and, and try it as well. And we're gonna see how many of these rods I really like and whether or not I'm gonna uh, search, keep searching for some other ones. Now I will say this guy, so far these, these Wally Marshall nine foot classic signature series with these cork handles. This is my all time favorite pitching rod. I absolutely love this thing. It is super lightweight, which makes it fast and nimble, yet it's still got a little length. So I can, you know, vertical jig on a fish if I need to. It's just been absolutely an awesome, awesome rod. I highly recommend these. And I also have been doing, you guys have seen in my videos, we've been doing quite a bit of catching crappie out of thick cover. You know, down here in Florida, we have a lot of hyacinths and a lot of floating mats of grass. And, you know, down on that St. John's River, a lot of these places, these fish, especially with spring coming, these fish like to bury up in grass a lot of times. Um, guys, I can't say enough about ACC crappie sticks. If you're going to be dragging fish out of cover, by far, that is the best rod that I have come across. That thing is, it is light, but it's got some backbone. It's got more of that fast, tip feeling to it and buddy it'll it'll it's it's a pleasure to fish with it is you can feel every bite and you can flat drag a fish up out of some cover with that stuff so you will see me can to uh, continue to use those acc crappie sticks i'm gonna probably always have those on my boat i haven't haven't found a competitor for for that application yet but guys i hope you i hope you uh enjoy my videos and like i said please subscribe to them Let's get out here on the water and see if we can track down some big old crappie today. Hey guys, I had decided to start in the mouth of the creeks and work my way back because of the fact that we've got about a 60 degree water temp today, 59 and a half or so. And the fish were moving up earlier to spawn and we're getting closer to that spawning season. So these fish I'm guessing are going to be staging somewhere in the in these creeks somewhere from the mouth to the back of the creek now I've already seen a couple little pods of fish just random scattered on, out here on the bottom starting into the mouth of this creek so we're going to keep looking a little bit make sure we're in the best possible place to catch some fish and uh, just hang with me guys we're going to see what we find now the other reason I came up this creek is you know, we got some pretty cold stained water out there on the lake and a pretty good wind today and the creeks are <laughs> a little more sheltered from the wind but we're gonna start off up here shallow and see what we can find so you guys just hang tight and i'm gonna search this creek out and see what we see all right guys let me show you what i'm dealing with these fish are really scattered but if you can see that there's a couple of fish right here and there's a couple of fish right there so I have gone all the way to the back of the creek and worked my way back out. And, uh, oh, it's, gonna look like, it's looking like it's gonna be a tough day, guys. These fish are really scattered. They, uh, 
I'll mark these so I can come back to them. They are uh, really scattered out. I'm not surprised with this hot weather and cold weather and hot weather. They had pushed back to the back of these creeks, but now it looks like they've pushed all the way out even to the mouth of the creeks. So we're going to try this little pattern here for a little bit and see if we can do anything. It looks like it's just going to be one of those tough days where the fish are going to be really scattered and hard to find. So you guys just hang with me. We'll see if we can get on some. All right, guys, let that, let that fish finder get booted up. We're going to start the day off with a eighth ounce ATX custom pumpkin seed and chartreuse jig and see how that does so right now i'm trying that uh, berkeley x9 so we'll see how it does a tough day guys we'll see Here you come after it got him there he is first fish of the day there you go guys I ain't got on the big ones yet, but at least we're catching them. So that just goes to show, guys, don't always just go start where you assume the fish are. Take your time and look around and, you know, see where you're seeing fish and start fishing where you're actually seeing some fish. So I expected these fish to be much farther back in this creek than what they are. They're all the way out here at the mouth of the creek. Everywhere it can make for a long day. <laughs> I've, I've, I've kind of learned just to not even spot, follow the, the bait fish because a lot of times they may not be under, maybe they're you know, chasing around them. Yeah. That don't have beats working. That's right. There he is. There's a good one. There you go. Oh, yeah. There we go, guys. There's a nice crappie. Big old slab crappie. Heck yeah. Not a lot, and they're scattered. Look how thick he is. Fish is ready to spawn, too. Got eggs coming out of him. Oh, at that time, got him. Not a monster, just just kind of an average size eater fish, but boy, they are really scattered, guys. I haven't got on the big population yet. Casting down, guys. Struggling on my cast this morning. Look like a fish on that tree right there, guys. Let's see if it is. Yep, it was. I got him right there. All right, crappy guy. There we go. Heck yeah. <laughs> nice big old stud crappy up here in shallow water. Big old long crappie up there on the stump, guys. Man, guys, these fish are hard to catch, but there is still a few up here shallow. There we go. Not a monster, but a good eating size crappie.
There you go, guys, with my 12 foot pole. I felt him thump it too, and I did not see him on the live scope. Nice. Oh, I'm struggling to get any live scope footage, guys, because we are catching some nice ones. Good crappie. Oh, he came after it. There he is. Yeah, these are really nice crappie, but I believe most of these are actually male crappie. Thin. Alright guys, we need a new jig. This one has had it. Alright guys, we're going to try a little different bait. We're going to use the same color, that pumpkin seed and chartreuse, but we're going to go to a two inch wick uh, sorry this is a two and a quarter or two and a half inch ATX wicked shad just a little longer profile body shapes eh, slightly different we'll see if that makes any difference and I'm also going to put a little scent on this thing so guys I don't I have not uh, started playing with scents yet maybe a little later we're going to have a little video where we'll uh we'll get a bunch of different kind of scents and start trying those out as well today i just have some pro cure thread friend thread fin shad it's really about all i got in the boat scent wise but we're gonna liberally apply some of that and uh just see if it makes any difference at all i have no idea We put a pile of it on there. Probably gonna have my rod come flying out of my hand when I go to set the hook, but we'll see. Hi guys and ladies, we've caught some pretty decent sized crappie doing this. Came up here shallow, but I'm just not catching a lot of female crappie up here. I believe most of these are just big males. So we are going to go and do some more looking around and see if we can find some somewhere else. I am going to go back to my baby shad because they're not even looking at this. Hi guys, we're going to try something different. So we went up in there. We started out in the, kind of midways to the mouth of the cove and we caught a couple of crappie that were just roaming. We also went all the way back towards the back of the cove and caught some fish off structure and they were some pretty decent fish but I think almost all of those were just big male crappie. So I'm going to do something else guys, it's a little bit different, you may or may not have seen before. And What I'm going to do is I'm going to ride along with my side scan, I'm going to get out here in this mouth to the mouth of this creek closer to the main lake and i'm gonna ride around and i'm gonna look for little pods of a bigger fish that actually make shadows on my side scan and as soon as i see them i'm gonna spin the boat run up there to the to the front of the boat kick my live scope out to about 55 feet and see if i can locate those fish with my live scope real quick and then it, and then try to get on them and make a cast to them now this is one th one technique that I've used when the fish are very scattered just to just to be able to do it quicker instead of just roaming around with a trolling motor trying to trying to find a fish or two. I have no idea if there's enough fish around for this to work today guys and it's going to be hard to show you what I'm doing on this uh, with these cameras. So I'm going to put this camera on the dash and uh, 
I'm gonna hit I'm gonna hit run when I see a little pot of fish you guys know what they look like I've shown them to you bunches of times and uh, we're gonna see if that works if that gets us on anything any bigger so you guys just hang with me I'm gonna try that for a few minutes and see what we find <laughs> nice eating size crappie. Heck yeah. There we go. Nice eating size crappie about to fall off my hook. There you go, guys. Here's a nice crappie, guys. Heck yeah, it feels good to be back up on Lake Talcum catching some good old fat slabs. Heck yeah. fish so much fun catching these fish out here in open water so guys i switched up to that atx wicked shad and they seem to be liking that a little bit better on a 3 16th out head so it would sink a little faster Big old slab crappie. <laughs> Gotta love Lake Talcum. Look at that big old pretty crappie. stud crappie right there boys heck yeah i'm gonna lose my school but look at there another nice big old thick crap crappie get him in the boat oh my god guys there's a two pound crappie right there that choker right there two pound plus big old fat thick rascal man nice Oh, 
a nice big old stud crappy guys sorry about the live scoop but i tried it with this cloud cover it's just no bueno nothing but glare but guys i'm catching these fish in about 16 feet of water mouth of the cove Yeah. Oh yes sir, if you'll stay on there, look at that big old freaking stud crappie dude. Oh my gosh. Look at the mouth on that thing. Woo. Big old stud talcum crappies. I love it. Plunk. Shoot ya. Alright guys and ladies, I'm gonna wrap this video up right here. Um Turned out to be a great day out here on the water. I struggled a little while to find any real decent sized fish. But if you guys saw, I caught a, I caught fish up in about eight to 10 foot of water. Seemed to be mostly males, but later this afternoon, the wind kind of died down and I got out to the mouth of the creeks and got out in 17 feet of water. And that's where the big ones were. Um, I caught a, quite a few really, really nice slabs today. It's a couple over two pounds. I hope I got those on film. I don't know if I did or not. If, I apologize, guys, if you didn't get to see them. It looked like my camera shut off on me and I didn't know it, but hopefully you, you got to see those big slabs. But uh, it, was, it was a good day. I caught most of my fish on that Wicked Shad and Pumpkin Seed and Chartreuse and also that Baby Shad ATX. I tried the X9 line and this uh, J Braid, both in 10 pound test. And uh, they both cast a lot better than that uh, spider wire I was using. So, so far, so good. I'm really enjoying them. And uh, I'm going to keep using them for a while. And, and we're just going to see how they hold up, which ones I like the best. But uh, all in all, it was a great day. And uh, glad you guys are watching. And like I said early in the video, help me get to 1,000 subscribers, guys. If you hadn't subscribed, please click that subscribe button. And uh, I'll try to keep getting out here and bringing you guys more videos. So see you on the water next weekend.